Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with G Suite and Cloud Identity. My name is Gagan, and I'm Product Manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can I control access to sensitive information based on attributes of users or devices? Using G Suite, you can easily solve these type of use cases with context-aware access. Context-aware access is the foundation of Beyond Corp security model that Google pioneered and published various white papers on. It breaks the traditional notion of relying primarily on network as your security parameter, and instead requires every request to a resource or application to be authenticated, authorized, and encrypted based on what we know about the user, device, and the context around them. Now, let's look at how it works. Imagine you are an admin and you have lots of sensitive data in Drive and Docs, and you want to ensure that the user accessing that data must be coming from a secure device. Now, let's see how you would set up a policy like that in your familiar admin console. First, you will navigate to your familiar um, security page. And on this page, you will now see context-aware access. When you go in, you will see three different sections. The first one is called access levels. This is where you define what a secure device means. And this could be things like it must have a password on, it must have device must be encrypted, or it must be coming from a minimum OS version of Mac or Windows or Chrome. The second thing you need to do is to assign that access level to a set of users and to a set of applications, which you do using assign access levels. The third one, you would specify a user message, which is what the end user will see when they get denied access because of the policy that you as an admin has applied. Let's dig a little bit deeper into each one of these. Let's start with access level. As you can see, you can specify conditions like IP subnet, this may be useful for cases where you say you want to restrict contractor access to your data from their corporate network only. You can also specify geolocation controls. This is helpful when you want to restrict or allow access from certain geographic locations. This may be because of regulations, compliance, or internal company requirements. You can also specify controls based on the device. For our use case, where we want to restrict access to drive and docs based on secure device, I have specified that the secure device means the password must be on, the device must be encrypted, and it must have a sufficiently uh, patched OS version. In this case, I am using Mac OS version is 10.14.0, and that is my minimum requirement. Next, I want to assign this access level to either the entire domain or a specific set of users. For this demo, I have picked the analyst OU, where I would apply this requir required secure device requirement to drive and docs. Next, I will specify what an end user would see if they get denied access because of the policy that I applied. On analyst, I specify the message I want to communicate and can give them a contact address that they can use for assistance. In device policy, you can also specify device controls based on whether the device is approved or whether it's a company-owned device. Now, let's go to Dan, who's a member of Analyst OU. Dan is working on a Mac device, which has a password on, and the device is encrypted. And his OS version is 10.14.6. This is higher than the version that I require as an admin, and Dan meets all the requirements to access Drive and Docs. In this case, when Dan tries to access his documents, he is able to access them with no issues. Now, assume there's a vulnerability that came out and you, as an admin, want to enforce that the users accessing your data 
are only able to access it if they have the patched version for that vulnerability. All you have to do in that case is go back to the require secure device policy that you specified and update the Mac OS version to let's say 10.14.8, which is the past version. Once you save it, this condition will now apply to all the users and the applications where this access level was used. Now, if we go back to Dan again, Dan is already logged in. His device is sending information about his device back to the cloud using something called endpoint verification. This is something that you can install for your users, or you can ask your users to download from Chrome Web Store and install themselves. Now, if Dan tries to do anything in his drive and docs, let's say he's trying to create a new document, they get denied access, and they see the message that you as an admin has set for them. So as you can see, with context-aware access for G Suite, you are easily able to protect the sensitive data based on user and device context. And what makes it really powerful is that this is based on continuous evaluation of context, irrespective of whether Dan is already logged in or is trying to log in after the policy is applied. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud Experts.